Someone asked me during the live stream, hey, can you do an HDR analysis of the Taylor's Principle 2? Because there is a debate going on right now on Steam. Some people are saying that the HDR looks kind of washed out and broken. So let's do it. Here is my HDR analysis of the Taylor's Principle 2. It's not working. Okay, it's not good or bad, it's, it's just not working. Okay, this is not what the developers intended. So of course you see that, okay, I don't see anything wrong. I'm not using the native HDR from the game. I am using this mod, this reshade add-on called Major Pain the Cactus. Link in the description of the video so you learn how to get this working. It's very simple, just install reshade with full add-on support and add the Major Paint the Cactus mod. Use the Lilium's inverse tone mapping. Here's the settings. All you have to do is just change the brightness depending on your display. Gamma 2.2. If you are using Gamma 2.2 on the game, so you come here to the options, brightness calibration, turn this off. So when you turn it off, you are using 2.2. And if you turn this on, you're using sRGB. So you can also just turn this on and then use sRGB here on this Lilium's inverse tone mapping. Don't struggle with HDR, okay? The developers might fix it later on. Right now it's not working. So what happens when you turn on this HDR is that it just looks completely washed out. So I immediately notice that, okay, this is not working. It's not supposed to look like that, okay? And of course, right now it's going to look like that because I have HDR on top of HDR, but it, it looks like that. So I thought initially, oh, what's happening here is that I have HDR on top of HDR, okay? So it's like, for example, let's say you have a game like Elden Ring that takes over the screen. You have HDR on Windows, and then the game is trying to turn on HDR again. You get a completely washed out picture. That might happen. And that happens when you have HDR on top of HDR. Or for, for example, on these LG OLEDs, you have HDR on the game already, and then you force the HLG um, EOTF, then it's, it's the same. It's going to look very washed out. So, But that's not the issue. I, I just don't know what's going on, but it looks completely washed out. And if you test the game, you will realize, you will see what I'm talking about. It's just a mess. Okay, It's just like completely broken. It's not working. Okay, it's no, it's not bad. I'm sure the developers didn't intend this to look like that. It's just, it's just not working. So you don't get any brightness. Everything looks washed out. So don't, don't waste your time. Use this thing. It looks amazing. This is forcing HDR10 from the game. You can see here the HDR analysis tool. Uh, with the native HDR, if the developers fix it, maybe you can potentially get some more details on the cloud but maybe okay i am not very op optimistic about that it should look about the same as this and as you can see here on the hdr analysis tool you're getting an average brightness that's like 165 nits 200 nits sometimes and what that means is basically it looks like a bright sunny day okay of course i am not getting 200 nits you know on my lgc1 because the the brightness, the full screen brightness is not as high, but if you have an LCD, so basically the content is gonna look good. It's gonna look very bright. And if you want more brightness, you can tweak the settings here and get even more brightness. If you want more colors, you can also tweak the settings and get more colors. You can, for example, come here to this Lilium's inverse tone mapping and increase this gamut expansion to 1.2, for example and it's gonna look even more colorful, if that's what you like. So yeah, give it a try. Link in the description of the video with a full guide. This is very easy. Just install Reshade with full add-on support, download the Lilium shaders, download the Major Paint the Cactus add-on, and just add the Major Paint the Cactus. That's it. You add the Major Paint the Cactus, it looks like this. Auto HDR, enable HDR. And then use this Lilium's inverse tone mapping. All you have to do is type in here CSP 
underscore HDR10, where it says CSP underscore override, and then use BT2446 method 8, which is the default one, content TRC 2.2, and just type in the brightness of your display. In my case, 800 nits for HGIG on my LG C1 OLED, and this works for so many games, especially on Real Engine games, this is just, it works like a charm. It is so good looking, it's just perfect. There's just no, no additional settings, no tweakings for the mid-tones, for the near black, you, you, you get that black floor that's like zero nits all the time. I mean, almost all the time. And it's just fantastic, okay? So give it a try, let me know your thoughts and opinions. The game itself, I just open it, okay? This is the first scene of the game, but what I can tell you is that it looks good. It looks good. I am using right now DLSS uh, Performance, DLSS Performance, and I can tell you that this looks sharp. It looks good. I don't have any sharpness on, of, on the game. Let me show you the settings I'm using. So I'm using a 4K DLSS performance, okay? This is a 3080 12GB, 5800X 3D. You can see the settings here, global illumination and shadows to medium, max out draw distance, and the textures, and the effects on high, maybe I can increase it and max it out, and I have the reflections in medium, and the post processing and low, because I wanna get 120, um, so hopefully this doesn't drop a lot. Uh, but so far here in this scene, I'm getting over 110 frames per second. It looks uh, good, it feels good, and especially it looks uh, sharp. So it is a good looking game when it comes to sharpness. Like a, you, you can see it here. Uh, of course, this texture is not like a very high, you know, detail and resolution texture. Um, you know, it's allocating like eight gigabytes so it maybe it could be higher uh, but it looks sharp like I have no complaints when it comes to the sharpness of the game uh, it looks very very clear it looks very clear and that's something that I I am missing in a lot of games that are demanding so this game can be demanding if you increase the settings uh, it's not easy to run but I can get the performance I need to play the game and it looks good it looks good it looks sharp and yeah i'll give it a try and maybe share something else maybe about the game if i like it in another video uh but yeah for now these are the hdr settings let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions well let's do this before i end the video let me pause the record because i have to close the game to show you how the native HDR looks. But let's do this. Let's do this. I, I, I'm going to pause the record so you can see a, an immediate before and after. Okay? So let's do this. I'm going to be here. You see this scene here. I'm going to close the game to, so I can deactivate this major pain, the cactus, because this doesn't get deactivated. Like in, you can turn it off, but to turn this off, it will be disabled on the next application restart. So for you to, to see the change in real time, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pause the recording, deactivate all of that, turn on the native HDR so you see what I'm talking about, and come back. That's the native HDR. Is broken. It's not working. So look at the HDR analysis tool. See, it's just, this is like SDR inside HDR. Like I don't even understand exactly what's going on, but this is not working. This is not 10,000 nits. It's just not working, and you can see it. Like my TV settings are the same. I didn't change anything, but you can see that there is something wrong with the colors and the gamma it looks kind of washed out it's uh it's terrible this is not working you don't you're not getting any brightness this is not bright at all in comparison it, it looks very dim in comparison 
And let me show you the reshade. So you see I'm not using any weird... There's nothing on reshade right now. It's just how it looks. Nothing on reshade. So this is the HDR analysis tool. Nothing else. So let me show you the settings in game. You see how it looks? The, even the menu looks bad. Uh, come here to calibrate. You see I selected here 800 nits. This is just not working. It's not bad. It's just not working. This is not working. <laughs> what can I tell you? Uh, there's something wrong here that I don't understand. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, it's not working. Turn it off. Look at the difference. When, when you turn this on, you, you notice that there's something wrong with it. And on the recording, it might look very, very dark because I adjusted the camera settings to uh, how bright it was before. So this might be very, very dark. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. That's what we got. <laughs> okay. Let me, let, let me increase the, um, the gamma, the, the gain of the, of the recording so you can see it better. Let me get the, the ISO increase. Okay. There you go. You can see that better. It's like completely washed out. No brightness at all. There's no brightness, no no colors, no brightness. It's um, a mess. This is not working. It's not working. I'm sure there's something wrong here. Um, this should get fixed. This should get fixed. I just don't understand how. I don't understand how they release it like this. If they test it, they will see that it's not working. Or maybe it's something got something went wrong with the drivers or I don't know Windows 11 specifically messing something up or because I think I believe these developers know uh, better just because they know this just because they know this they know the di this difference you know piecewise sRGB gamma and 2.2 pure uh, power gamma just because they know this, they should, I think they know about this kind of stuff. <laughs> because, you know, this is the issue that, that I share with you with that ICC profile to fix auto HDR for games that are Gamma 2.2 because Windows is enforcing sRGB. So if they know that story, basically, they know about this to get it working and they... Uh, the, the HDR implementation has good settings. When you come here to calibrate, it has some good sh good settings. Shadows, mid-tones, brightness. This is just not, not working. I mean, you can increase this. You can do whatever. This is not working. It's not a matter of the settings. You can increase everything, whatever you want. This is not working at all. It's not going to improve anything. It's not working. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you know the solution uh, to the native HDR, let me know. I wouldn't, you know, research on the internet or none of that because, yeah, why would I do that if I can just <laughs> you do the same I do to the Unreal Engine games and get a great HDR. But if you know the, the, the solution, share that uh, in the description and let me know if you have any questions.